Hi, I'm Ella from Lean. Today, I would like to introduce to you one of our recent winning cases. Basically, this case I'm about to tell you about is an administrative case brought against the Korean Immigration Office. First, the basic facts of the case. As a foreign client, Mr. A has earned his master's degree as a result of his study abroad in Korea. And he applied for a job search visa, which is the 10, hoping to gain a work experience in Korea for a certain period of time. However, his visa application was refused by the Korean Immigration Office because the Immigration Office viewed his previous academic experience was irrelevant to his work experience. In response, the client appointed attorney Ji Young Hang of Lolin and Gang filed an administrative lawsuit against the Korean Immigration Office seeking revocation of the refuser. Foreigners staying in the Republic of Korea in accordance with Article 10, Article 24, Paragraph 1, and Article 25 of the Korean Immigration Act can, in principle, stay within the scope of the status of given visa in period of stay recognized at the time of the first entry into Korea by Ministry of Justice in advance. If you need to continue staying in Korea, you must go through the procedure of re-entry after leaving the country and only in exceptional cases, you must undergo a strict examination and obtain permission to change your visa status or you need to obtain a permission to extend your stay in Korea. The administrative agency has the great discretion to grant permission to change the status of visa to foreigners or to decide whether to extend the period of stay. Anyone who wishes to challenge the effect of administrative agency's disposition and file a lawsuit against the administrative agency, he or she shall bear the burden of proof to prove essential elements of their case. Since most of the case documents submitted by the client in this lawsuit were written in foreign languages, the attorney Jiyoung Khan first translated the case-related documents accurately in cooperation with the judicial interpreters of Lovin, responsible for foreign affairs. Attorney Gang carefully reviewed the relevant statutes, meticulously analyzed legal issues in the case. In the course of preparing the administrative lawsuit, attorney Jiyoung Gang discovered that the administrative agency misunderstood a very important factual grounds in reviewing the client's application for change of visa status at the time of the disposition of the case. During the process, Gang pointed out that the administration's exercise of discretion based on factual misrepresentation was illegal and unjust. Attorney Gang actively submitted various evidence to support her arguments and sought the cancellation of the original deposition by the immigration office. Permission to change visa types or permission to extend a current visa is granted after a very strict examination by the administrative agency. So, once a disposition is made, it is not easy to reverse the result of such disposition through a lawsuit. In particular, in the case of an administrative lawsuit against the immigration office or any other government agencies, the person the person who disputes the administrative disposition takes responsibility for the proof of the illegality and unfairness of the disposition. Without the assistance of an attorney, winning in these lawsuits may be a tough job for individuals. If you have problem with your visa status or your visa application has been refused or rejected, the first thing you have to do is have a legal expert look at your documents to see if there is any way to resolve your visa situation.